So I've been wanting to do this video to kind of give you my perspective on why majority of people always fail. And it's not just cultural, it's, it's perspective. Well, here's one of them. I don't know about all the other countries in the world, but I know that in the developed countries, the Western culture, I guess you could call it, everybody, they go out to dinner. They, they eat out. So you look at these, you look at these uh, articles here. People average $232 per month going out to dinner. Now, I'm not holding that against you. And in, in this era right now, the coronavirus, it's probably not as accurate. But my point is this. What the rich and the, and the middle class and the poor buy? Wealth, the wealthy buys assets. Whenever they got a little bit extra money, they buy something that's going to make more money. That's what they do. Time and time again. They drive around in an old car. They buy an old house. They don't buy a fancy house. The people you see living in big fancy mansions and have big... Those are your upper scale middle class that are buying debt. I have friends who are worth millions and millions of dollars and they they wear old jeans, they're partially shaven, they have an old pickup truck, they got a, you know, maybe 20, 50, 100 acre farm, maybe 500 acres, maybe 5,000, who knows, but the house on it's old, a little worn on the edges, they don't have fancy furniture or anything like that, and every time they get extra money they buy another asset. Go read the articles. The middle class buys liabilities. And the poor buy stuff. They get a couple dollars, they go to the dollar store, they get some things, they put it on their counter, they get a you know, a, a new TV, they get a placemats, they get they just buy stuff. Okay? So I want to make this really clear to you that you need if you are going to make going to change your life to become wealthy you really have to have a paradigm shift in how you see things read these articles seek sneak seek knowledge create skills I mean I hear it time and again I don't have a hundred dollars I don't have it well folks a couple of years ago just to prove a point and I'm constantly trying to prove a point to you to wake you up so that you become wealthy I stopped everything else I was doing, and for one month, about 15 hours a day, I did faucets, Bitcoin faucets. So this was a couple of years ago, and by the end of that month, I had earned a 0.8 of a Bitcoin, and at today's prices, that's about $6,000, $7,000. But I did it 15 hours a day without interruption. I was not distracted. The average person today has $90,000 in debt, the average, the average middle class in America, because they invest in debt. What does that $90,000 really represent? That means that they have to be forking out to pay that off for a period of, say, five years, $2,150 a month. What would that $2,150 a month mean to you if you bought Apple stock or Google stock or Ford stock or whatever stock? You bought 2,000 shares every month for 10 years. Or you bought crypto coin every month for 10 years. By the time you were 40 or 50 years old, and I'm talking about, you know, those of you who are in your early 30s, mid 30s, you'd be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But the way that the conventional wisdom, the way that the people in power have your mind wired is that they want you in debt because they can control you. They want you in debt because then you can't rise up. $90,000. And you got to go out there and you got to, you know, got to go have your meals got to go out there and buy your pizza you got to go you know have pizza delivered and you just don't think about it you got to go out there and you got to buy a new car you know your BMW or your 
Ford Esc uh, Escape or wh whatever it is, it's, it's, four, it's getting on three or four years old. Old, you got to go trade in for a new a new car. That's what they want you to do. I maintain my car. I've had a car for twenty years, nineteen years. It's got over three hundred thousand miles on it. It runs great. I just bought a house, but I bought the cheapest, most beat up house in the state. Because I don't want to owe anything on it. And I'm slowly getting it fixed up. I've taken my overhead when I was married 20 some years ago from $60,000 a month. My mortgage payment was $18,000 a month. I lived in La Jolla. I lived, I, I was married to a, a woman who had that. Had We had to have the BMWs. We had to have the, the boats. We had to have the fancy house. We had to have all this stuff. And it was killing me. Today I've got my overhead down to $1,500 and pretty soon it's going to be under $500 a month. I don't like throwing my money away, so I'm trying to get this into your head. So this is why I built the Entrepreneur One program in Market Hive. Right now we're getting ready to release this banner. Uh, impressions exchange system. Nobody else has ever done this. I mean, you can look at the Alexa ranking and you can clearly see with our Alexa ranking where we are. We're at 9,000 something. 9,000, I mean, 4,950. That means that we are producing an estimated page views, that's impressions, of 65 million. What does that mean for you? Take that 65 million, 65493570, divided by 500, because we're only going to sell 500. That's 130,987 impressions. Your share, that's your share of impressions. So what are the impressions selling for? Well, I have I search and I search and I search and I keep coming up with this these numbers. Sixty six dollars CPM. That's cost per thousand. Sixty six dollars fifty five three. But if you look here, they increase it by twenty dollars if you want to be if you want to be above the fold on the front page, which is what you get with the Market Hive banner exchange incentive. So that that's six that's six point six cents. So you multiply that times six point point zero six six. That's eight thousand six hundred and forty five dollars. That you you could easily get next month when we open up the the, the, the exchange. Eight thousand six hundred and forty five dollars. So let's do this again. So how many how many uh sixty five million four hundred and ninety three thousand? Let's do it again. I may have done I may have made a mistake. I often don't believe those numbers. Sixty five million four hundred and ninety three thousand five hundred and seventy divided by five hundred. If you own one Entrepreneur One, that's your share. 130987 1000 Okay, $66 cost per, per thousand. So we're going to take 66 divided by 1000 equals 0 .066. 0 .066 times 130987 equals eight thousand six hundred and forty five dollars <laughs> there it is you don't believe me this is what they sell for that's a real number so let's say that you're desperate you want to only sell it for a penny let's say that oh, I gotta pay off that debt so we take one hundred and thirty thousand nine hundred and eighty seven times point zero one a penny 
$1,300. I do a lot of praying. Market Hive is a vision. God told me to build Market Hive and give it all away for free. That I would figure out how to make money. Selling you the ad services is one of those things. I could just sell the ad services. And I'd give them to you. But it's our desire to, to build you cottage industries that actually work. How many of you buy MLM deals? I see it all the time. I see it on our news feed. You're promoting Ponzi schemes, Bitcoin doublers, MLM promises of richness. And all, you know, all you got to do is just go get you know, 50 people who get 50 people who get 50 people. Folks, that never happens. You're involved in a binary. And you see down one side, you got thousands of people signing up. But on your leg, nobody's signing up. And you keep paying that $200 a month because you don't want to lose the, you don't want that leg to flesh out. That's their game. That's how they keep you in it. And you stay in for a year, year and a half, and finally you give up. I said, it ain't ever going to work. I am a different type of person. I am from a different cut. I want to build an army of wealthy people. I don't want to build my wealth on your back. I want to, I want, I want to join with you. I want us to all be equal in that endeavor of creating this sovereignty for the masses for those of you in Africa South America the inner cities the poverty the struggling the lower middle class the, the oppressed that's what this is all about and I need you to upgrade to the entrepreneur program it's only a hundred dollars a month and it's a loan we pay it back to you that's what the ILP is and I just Spend the time you're explaining what the IOP is, but we're growing leaps and bounds. And, and once we get enough revenue coming in, I can accelerate this. I can get the wallets, the exchanges, and launch this thing to where we have literally hundreds of millions of subscribers. And everybody will profit when we do that. We're really close. We need you. We need you to stop being a consumer and start being coming an investor and a hundred dollars a month is a really really low entry level to make look at those numbers 1,309 if you sell them for a penny if you sell them for one tenth of a penny it's hundred thirty dollars you're still in profit I hope you get this because I'm not going to continue doing this forever I'll take the what's left over and I'll sell the impressions and We'll turn into Coin Telegraph more than we would turn into an army of the vision. Thank you. My name's Tom Prendergast. Thank you for your time.